Hello everyone! Welcome to another Let's Play. My name is Anna Mardal and we are playing The Crown and the Flame Book 1 um, and we're on Chapter 13. We just navigated a very difficult labyrinthine maze of death traps, got to the end, and a minotaur, sorry, a mechanized minotaur, also known as a mechatar, was waiting for us and will probably try to eat us. So let's get into this. Chapter 13 of 18, Dominic and Rose plan to destroy Hex's cannon while Kenna fights for her life against the labyrinth's mechanical guardian. Chapter 13, The Mechatar. Deep in a technocrat's labyrinth. Roar! Run! You all sprint back the way you came. The mechanical monster follows, its footfalls shaking the ground. Leon, I thought you were dying for something to fight. Here's your big chance. I meant a real fight, not this metal monstrosity. I don't want to die in this maze. Then I suggest we run a little faster. It's not enough. We'll never outrun that thing. It's a machine. It won't get tired and we're trapped in the labyrinth. We need a plan. You turn a corner and stumble as your foot snags on a near invisible wire. I've triggered a trap. Dive. You drop to the ground as a storm of arrows shreds the air above you. That was too close. Kenna! I'm fine, keep going. That thing's catching up. You sprint to your feet and keep running, dodging narrow cor around corners and down narrow passages. Roar! Leon? Val? Raiden? Where are you? Someone yanks you into a small alcove. Ah! Shh! You don't hear her. <laughs> you and Whitlock hold your breath as the monster stalks past your hiding place. How are we supposed to beat that? We'll find a way. This is just another puzzle to work out. You said it yourself. This is a means to test us. That means the creature was designed to be beaten. You make a really good point. I do that sometimes. You're surprisingly logical for a warrior. Most would just start attacking and hope for the best. I'm not like most. So what do we do now? First, we need to find the others. Did you see which way they went? I think so. Good, then lead the way. Let's hope we can find them before that creature does. You follow Whitlock down a series of passages. These must be their footprints in the sand. It looks like they turned here. Hang on, what's this? Whitlock points to a metal grate in the wall. It looks like a weapon? Huh, something is written here. When facing monsters made of metal, use this gear axe to gain an advantage. Looks like there's a way to open this grate. Want me to get it for you? Oh, I'm sorry, I just hit the microphone by accident, and that's probably gonna pop real loud. And unfortunately, I can't restart the video from scratch because it costs keys to do that. Sorry. That axe would be helpful to have. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to go back and test, see how bad the microphone hit was, and it wasn't too bad, so sorry, and I will be very careful with my hands and not bump anything again. Um, <laughs> technical difficulties. Uh, where were we? That axe would be helpful to have. Okay, so do we want to buy the axe? Yes. Whitlock prize open a wall panel revealing the machinery inside. Well, there's the bolt, and that gear goes there. Ah! The gate swings open, and you grasp the handle of the axe. I can feel it humming in my hand, like it's alive. 
Maybe it is. You never know with these technocrats. Now let's keep moving. A while later, you walk into a large empty room with gaping pits in the floor. There's some kind of machinery down there. Those gears are as big as carriage wheels. Careful, the edges of the pits could be unstable. Looks like there's only one other doorway. Let's... Ah, that doorway seems to have a mechatar in it. I vote we go back the other way. Agreed. Slowly, Whitlock backs out the way you came. You start to follow, but a metal gate slams down between you and Whitlock. An identical gate closes over the other exit. Kenna, what do we do? You're trapped. You turn to face the monster before you. I was tired of running anyway. Early in the morning, you and Rose sneak out to the empty courtyard. Perfect. Hex's engineers haven't started work yet. Find somewhere hidden where you can keep an eye on the castle door. Got it. If I see anyone coming out, I'll do this. Rose whistles a bird call. Perfect. You hurry over to the huge cannon, carefully prying open one of the side panels. How do I sabotage this? So you can either jam the gears or steal apart. Let's steal apart. Hmm, that looks important. You reach into the delicate machinery and suddenly hear Rose's distinct whistle. Oh no. Step back from the weapon. What the? Soldiers emerge from behind their hiding places around the cannon surrounding you. See? He was trying to sabotage the weapon, just like I told you. Good. Very good. I wasn't doing anything. I just... Save your breath, traitor. We saw everything. Take him to the dungeon. You catch a glimpse of Rose hiding behind a nearby pillar. Please stay hidden. As the soldiers haul you to the dungeon, they drag you by Tristan. Ask him why he did it. What did they offer you? Gold? Land? A title? What's worth betraying your own brother? You're not my brother, Dom. I have to protect my real family. I did it for Rose. You're going to regret this, Tristan. <laughs> He's a feisty one. This is going to be fun. Lock him up. Trapped in a large metal chamber, you face off against the labyrinth's mechanical guardian. I... I don't think there's any way to open this gate from the outside. If I don't make it out of here, try to find Leon, Raiden, and Val. They'll protect you. You're about to face the Mechatar? And you're worried about me? Whitlock grips your arm through the bars. Good luck, Kenna. Be smart. Look for patterns. Gripping your weapon, you take a step towards your opponent. What are you waiting for? The Minotaur whirls, charging you. Roar! Dodge. You dive out of the way, and the Mechatar smashes into the wall of the chamber. Roar! I should attack. You swing your axe at the frozen minotaur. Yeah! The axe hums as it bites into the mechatar's metal flesh, and a fountain of sparks sprays from the wounds. He screeches. The mechatar whirls, charging towards you. Roar! Dodge. You dive out of the way, and the mechatar smashes into the wall of the chamber. Attack! You swing your axe at the frozen mechatar. The axe hums as it bites into the mechatar's metal flesh, and a fountain of sparks sprays from the wounds. The mechatar slumps, the fire in its chest flickering out completely. You wrench the axe free, its blade twisted and smoking. Too bad, I was just getting used to this thing shouldn't be too hard to repair once I've got access to some proper tools. 
Cautiously, you prod the mechatar hard on the shoulder. It remains cold and dead. If it's done then, I actually beat it. Yes, you did. I'm impressed, and that's not something I say very often. That's an incredibly sophisticated piece of machinery, you know. I doubt there's anything else like it in the world. Yes, an amazing machine that nearly killed me. But even so, it was only doing what it was built to do. I suppose it'd be a shame to destroy such a marvel. You did say you're fighting a war. I bet I can repair it. You can take it with you. Yes, we're going to have a mechatar with our bear. Good choice. This creature will be a powerful ally. Not to mention terrifying. I can't wait for Marco and his army to have to face this beast. Suddenly you hear a noise. With a series of metallic clangs, hidden doors spring open behind you, opening a straight path toward the center of the labyrinth. After you, mighty slayer of the Mechatar. Wow. Kenna! Leon! Raiden! Val! You're all right! Raiden hurries over to you, clasping your hand in his. Kenna! I... He pauses, composing himself. I'm glad you're safe. We were in the maze, and suddenly a door opened, leading here. I assume we have you to thank for this shortcut? Kenna defeated the Mechatar single-handedly. Really? Nice. Now we need to find out which of these people is the leader. The answer to that might be right in front of you. I know. The leader of the technocrats is Whitlock. That's right. I am surprised you saw through my act. Well, you seem to know just a little too much about the maze and everything in it. Ah, oh, I admit it. I wanted to see how you'd do against the challenges, and you impressed me. You? Some little mop-headed dandy boy with the goggles? You run things around here? You've been lying to us from the very beginning. Not true. Most of what he told you was real. Somewhat paradoxically, you'll just have to trust me on that. Well, what happens now that we've passed your test? Oh, sorry. Did I say the test was over? You cheeky. Kidding. Well, mostly. Now we head up to my workshop and I'll hear you out. Tell me everything. Every hour we delay, my enemies fortify against me. Time is precious. I agree wholeheartedly. In the labyrinth, you convince me that you're worth my time. Now, convince me that you're worth my life. You have beaten the technocrats Mikatar. Word of your accomplishment will help solidify your reputation. You have recruited the Mechatar. What havoc will this mechanical beast wreak on the battlefield? You've unlocked the gear axe for use in future battles. Mechatar alive? Question mark and recruited. Three hundred forty-eight out of three forty-eight. So that was chapter thirteen. That seemed faster than usual, except for my slight delay with whacking microphones by accident. Um, and I really am sorry about that. I'm a little clumsy. I'm sorry. Um, that was chapter 13 of The Crown and the Flame. Um, hopefully I can get chapter 14 up when my keys regenerate and I can play it. I like this book a lot. And... It reminds me of a lot of like the fantasy novels I used to read as a kid and really liked, especially Patricia Reed's fantasy novels. Like I went and I've been rereading *The Raven Ring* um, by her this week as I've been playing this game because it, it the setting and just it reminds me a lot and I love it. It's like this 
excellent, amazing, nostalgia trip, but where I'm getting to choose my own adventure too. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. To me, this is just wonderful, nostalgia candy of these magical, fantasy, medieval type settings. I love it very much. Um, and it's, it's, you know, it's hopeful. I mean, there's hard stuff happening and it's rough. And I mean, chapter one started with a bang with our mom getting her head cut off, which was awful. And obviously there's been a lot of wounds and killing and torture and everything. I don't want to downplay any of this, but there's a hopefulness to it that really makes me happy. And I, I cheer for Kenna because I want her to win and I want Dom to win and I want everyone to have a beautiful happy ending so I just I really have my hat off to the writer who wrote this um the Choices website, they actually hire writers. If you're a writer and you're interested, uh, they hire people to write these stories and then provide the, you know, the pretty images and, and assets of, of, of the actual game is my understanding, which I think is really cool. So, um, anyway, I don't know why I just babbled on like that. I'm sorry, but here we are at the end of that. Chapter 13. We smashed it. Next up is chapter 14, which I will get up as soon as I humanly possibly can with the technical limitations that we're playing with. Um, thank you so much for coming along with me on this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!